You find yourself in Vienna, visitor or resident, you're never more than 500 meters from a drop-off point for waste. Its orderly disposal is not just appreciated, but expected. The war here is very different from the one in Iraq, yet the differences seem less than the similarities. There isn't the widespread hostility, but you can see how effective the Taliban and their allies have become. in a comedy based on the Ten Commandments and Stardust, a fairy tale in which Michel Pfeiffer is a very ugly creature. Find out more this week on Talking Movies. This week, meet one of India's most dynamic young entrepreneurs. Neswadia speaks for a new generation of Indian business. He's with me here on BBC World. There's a flourishing ecosystem of bird life and mangroves, but its conservation is playing second fiddle to economic development, say environmentalists. Find out more this Saturday on BBC World. When I saw that it can be organized like what we did, we registered ourselves, we had a chartered accountant, we had an income tax person, we had a sales tax person, everything organized when we started. It's an industry by itself.
from London, this is BBC News. Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky makes a surprise visit to the UK for talks of the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's country residence and the pair have discussed fighter jets and training for pilots. The visit to Chakas comes as Britain announces it's to send long-range attack drones to help in Kyiv's fight. In other news, too close to call, Turkey appears headed for a runoff vote for president after the country's most closely fought election in decades. Hello, I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. Welcome to BBC News. And we're going to start with our continued coverage of that visit by Ukraine's President Zelensky here to the UK. There's plenty more, as always, on the website and do download the BBC News app. For the moment, though, I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. This is BBC News. Bye bye.